Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kai. Going up here today, I uh, thought I'd just do a bit of a talking video update. What's been going on? But first up, I want to start off by ranting a little bit. So obviously, as you know, I've been selling stuff on Facebook and eBay and, and things like that. And, you know, I had someone message me the other day saying, oh, their, their item turned up. And uh, it was opened and there was stuff missing from it. And I thought to myself, you know, that, that really pissed me off, you know. Because I'm thinking, I, I, I sent that item. I sent it, it was sealed up properly, packaged. And I got another message today from someone on eBay that also had a similar thing happen. And even my partner said she got something the other day and it had a box knife cut on one of the actual books that she brought. And I'm thinking to myself, you know... This isn't on. Royal Mail, man, you really need to fucking get your shit together because it is absolutely ridiculous, you know, that people are sending stuff and you're opening them and, and breaking them. And the thing is, in these situations, a lot of people go, oh, it's your fault, it's your fault. And it's not. As a seller, if you package something and it's sealed up fine and everything's packaged together... If you sent it and got proof that it was fine and packaged fine, you know, you're not in the wrong here. Royal Mail, I've only had this problem with Royal Mail. I've never had this happen before. You know, I've been sending stuff for over a year. I've had stuff that's gone missing a few times or never turned up. But it's fucking ridiculous, especially when something doesn't turn up because you're you're basically losing money you really are losing money because you're selling something then paying to post it then you're losing the money because you're having to refund the person anyway royal mail just you need to get your shit together seriously because it's fucking pissing me off i shouldn't have to be losing money because you guys can't do your fucking job right you know especially you know like i said these are things that are i have been you know in my collection for a long time and i don't sell them lightly you know but I, I just want to get that out of the way. But um, this morning I actually watched a bit of um, the classic Batman TV show. And i got to say, I enjoyed it. I watched uh, four episodes far so far. Um, I'm enjoying it. Um, this is obviously going to be sort of my Blu-ray now when I have Blu-rays to watch. Um, it looks pretty good. I ain't going to lie. It looks pretty good. Um, I thought it was um, a lot of cheesy fun. Never watched the show before, but I had seen the 60s movie, which I love, the um, the 1960s Batman movie. I think that movie is just um, it's just fun, cheese tactic. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Uh, great classic line um, from that movie. Um, the other night I watched Free Guy with my partner, and I was actually surprised that movie was pretty good. Um, I had a lot of great Easter eggs in there, um, a lot of great, like, um, references to other movies, video games. Um, pretty fun message, you know, what if NPCs were alive. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, Ryan Reynolds, I like Ryan Reynolds as an actor, I think he's he does his part well, especially in comedic roles, um, but he has done some dramatic roles. Um, last night I watched a movie called Savage Dawn, um, and honestly, I thought it was okay. The ending was pretty good, it was pretty over the top. Um, you know, Lance Hendrickson, the evil biker gang type movie. Not many biker movies out there, actually, surprisingly. Um, I thought it was pretty good, I, I, but I, I'll admit, I actually fell asleep for like, 10 15 minutes of it because I was there and I was watching it and I was like, dozing off and I was like oh what the hell just happened um and I was like fuck it I can't be asked to restart from where I last remembered it but um so um but tonight I'm gonna play some more Lego Star Wars I have beaten all nine stories now I've finally done all nine stories which I wanted to just do the stories anyway um before my modded PS3 turns up because when that turns up um, well, I'll talk about that in a minute anyway, but, um, I am going to play a bit more of that tonight, um, I'm just going to try and do the, I am going to try and 100% it, um, before, like, starting something new, um, but I'm not too bothered about once, you know, my PS3 and that turns up and I can play other games, um, as long as I've done the main story, but obviously I paid 60 quid for it, so I want to get my money's worth, but I actually am enjoying, like, the, the exploration, I think I'm going to try and do everything on each planet first and then go back and do the free play missions um if you haven't checked out my review check it out i i gave it a nine out of ten 
really enjoyed Lego Star Wars. Um, haven't finished with it yet, but um, I'm at a point now where I'm like, if I want to go on to another game, I, I wouldn't feel guilty about doing it. I do need to go back and finish off Arch Vale as well, because that's a really fun little indie type game. And I will do a review on Arch Vale coming soon. Um, but um, tonight I'm going to check out a movie on Full Moon. I think it's called um, it's like The Last House on Burbank or something like that. Um, it's a lost movie. It's only an hour and six minutes long. It's not an overly long movie, but it was originally, um, I think it was like a spoof of um, The Last Dance in Tango, The Last Tango in Paris or something like that. And it was made by two different people, John Carpenter. Uh, there was like an uncensored one that they split up and the movie was lost, but it was just added to Full Moon in the um, uncut version. So I'm going to check it out. And I do like doing that. I like watching these obscure movies like video games. I love checking out stuff that isn't in the norm, you know, that isn't your, your standard stuff. And, you know, I've, I've seen a post on um, Facebook of Showcase with their you know, nine movies that are out, and I'm thinking, there's nothing there that I'd go and watch in the cinema, the only movie that out at the moment that I would probably watch would be Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but I haven't seen the first one anyway, but, uh, movies nowadays just, it's all the same thing, that's why I love having subscriptions, and that's why people say to me, why do you have DVDs, because that is why, because, you know, I, I can boot up a movie or TV show and just watch whatever I want, when I want. Um, and obviously, uh, subscription services. Um, on the wrestling front, I am starting WrestleMania 14 now, 1998 eight, WrestleMania. So happy to check that one out. And I should be, I'm hoping to not actually get to watch a bit of it without falling asleep. Um, I did wake up quite early today, but I did go to bed a bit earlier last night, so... Um, but as for the modded PS3, I'm not too sure when it's going to be shipped. Um, I, I have been in contact with the, the, the company and they have said that um, hopefully if all things go right, it should be um, finished by tomorrow. So I'm hoping we'll get it by Friday. I can't remember how long it takes for the shipping. Um, they just said they use parcel force. Um, so I don't know if they use the 48 hour service or the 24 hour service or special delivery. I don't know, um, but they're normally, I haven't had too many problems with Parcel Force. And I can check out the tracking when they send me the tracking. It will tell me exactly where it is on the map, which I think is, is a must have for any um, service. This is why DX kind of annoyed me, because they didn't have that sort of service where you could track it where it was. But to be fair to DX, the woman um, customer service um, was fantastic. She kept me in the loop the whole time. Um, so I couldn't complain on that front, you know, I, I was very appreciative of, of, of that and I really appreciate that. And if I do have to use another big parcel service like that, I will use DX again, just for the customer service alone was, was worth my time. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to check that out tonight, play a bit more Lego Star Wars. Um, I'm at Tatooine at the moment, just trying to go around. Um, there's a lot, it's a lot of fun. There's just so much fun to be had with it. If you haven't checked it out, Definitely check out the game. It's so much fun. Um, but um, tonight, yeah, so full moon tonight, checking out that movie. I think it's like The Last Aunt on Burbank or The Last House on Burbank. Really obscure movie. Um, I think it's a comedy, probably a sex comedy. Um, knowing full moon, it's probably got a lot of sex in there. Which, you know, it's, it's, it's alright, I suppose. It's a movie at the end of the day. The last one I watched on there was called Rashi Blows. And that movie was fucking boring it was an awful movie it was just so boring um at least the one i watched before then um i can't remember what it was called but it was like a sex trafficking movie um but that was a full-on porn but at least in that movie like it, it went full on you know it was a porn movie and you knew it was a porn movie whereas the dashi blows um was was like is it a porn movie? Is it not a porn movie? I don't know. It's like they couldn't figure out what they were trying to do with it. Um, but I'm hoping tonight's movie, you know, will be kind of fun to check out. Um, obviously, some, most of my subscription services have run out now anyway. And I don't get paid till the end of the month. So at the moment, it's mainly going to be like DVDs and Blu-rays and wrestling at the moment. So um, Amazon Prime. Never had a problem with Amazon Prime. Uh, that always never seems to run out. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so 
Um, I have been watching some more Two and a Half Men as well. Um, I'm in two minds if I want to re-watch um, the AVGN all the way through because I watched the last video he did. Um, and I was like, oh, I really, really want to watch AVGN again. Um, it's one of the few YouTube videos that I've watched every year. Um, and I just love AVGN because it's like a TV show, really. Um, and that's why I like YouTube because there's so much variety and stuff. Um, but I think I'm pretty much done with all my shipping and selling now. Anything else that sells is just going to be small individual things that are only going to cost like a quid to send. So it's not a problem for me. Um, but I'm going to chill for a bit. I might actually run back up to the co-op in a minute and pick up the mints for tomorrow. So I don't have to go tomorrow because knowing me I'll forget. Um, but as always guys, anyway, um, I just thought I'd do a little bit of an update guys. Letting you know that what's going on. Um, let me know guys in comments. Um, I've got three questions that I want you guys to answer. Um, that's what I'm going to start doing in, in my videos. I'm going to leave some questions and I want some interaction. I do get some people comment and all that. You know who you are and you're great like that. And I appreciate the comments. Um, and I really do appreciate the support on the selling the game collection. Um, I haven't had no negative comments, which is great. And I understand a lot of people. Um, some people might not be happy with it. But at the same time, you know, I, I've still got the... Uh, the ability to play games so three questions i want you guys to answer first of all um have you watched the original batman tv show and if so who's your favorite character from the original batman for me i actually really like the penguin burgess meredith i think he's i think he's great um cheesy fun and stuff like that um, second question, what is your favourite obscure movie? Um, it could be a sexploitation movie, it could be a softcore porn, it could be anything that isn't an, a normal movie. And third and final, what game should I check out first when I get my modded PS3? And as always guys, uh, feel free to leave a like and of course comment with those answers. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. I kind of don't want to go back out, but I'm like... I might as well just quickly run to the co-op and get this um um this mints for tomorrow because I don't really want to go out tomorrow. Then tomorrow I can just chill. Um and as always guys, uh follow me on Twitter and Instagram and as always have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.